നേച്ചർ ആൻഡ് സ്കോപ്പ് ഓഫ് മാനേജറിയൽ എക്കണോമിക്സ് നേച്ചർ ഓഫ് മാനേജറിയൽ എക്കണോമിക്സ് ദർ ആർ എയ്റ്റ് പോയിൻറ്റ്സ് റിഗാർഡിങ് നേച്ചർ ഓഫ് മാനേജറിയൽ എക്കണോമിക്സ് ഫസ്റ്റ് പോയിൻറ്റ് മൈക്രോ എക്കണോമിക്സ് മാനേജറിയൽ എക്കണോമിക്സ് ഈസ് മൈക്രോ എക്കണോമിക് ഇൻ ക്യാരക്ടർ ദിസ് ഈസ് സോ ബിക്കോസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് സ്റ്റഡീസ് ദ പ്രോബ്ലം ഓഫ് എ പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ ബിസിനസ് യൂണിറ്റ് സെക്കൻഡ് നോർമേറ്റീവ് സയൻസ് മാനേജറിയൽ എക്കണോമിക്സ് ഈസ് എ നോർമേറ്റീവ് സയൻസ് ഇറ്റ് സിക്സ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഗുഡ് ആൻഡ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ബാഡ് it is concerned with what management should do under particular circumstances it determines the goals of the enterprise then it develops the way to achieve these goals third pragmatic managerial economics is a pragmatic it is concentrated on making economic theory more application oriented it tries to solve the managerial problems in their day to day functioning of business enterprise fourth point prescriptive managerial economics is a prescriptive rather than descriptive it pres- prescribes solution to various business problems fifth point may uses macro economics macro economics is also useful to managerial economics macro economics provides an intelligent understanding of the environment in which the business operates managerial economics takes the help of macroeconomics to understand the external conditions such as business cycle national income economic policies of government etc sixth point uses theory of the firm managerial economics largely uses the body of art and science economic concepts and principle towards solving the business problems seventh point managerial oriented the main aim of managerial economics is to help the management in taking correct decision and preparing plans and policies for future eighth point multidisciplinary managerial economics makes use of the most modern tools of mathematics statistics and operation research in decision making and forward planning the uh, principle of accounting finance marketing produce personnel Uh, etc are used ninth point art and science managerial economics is both a science and an art as a science it establish a relationship between cause and effect by collecting classifying and analyzing the fact on the basis of certain principles managerial economics is an art also it is the study of art of decision making in firm scope of managerial economics first point demand analysis of forecasting goods are produced to be sold in the market the volume of production depends upon the demand therefore the management analysis demand to take decision on the basis of this analysis for analysis demand the management employs demand theory the demand theory explain the consumers behavior the knowledge of the demand theory can be also helpful for the forecasting future de- uh, demand demand forecasting is essential for business planning second point cost and production analysis as already stated the resources or mean to produce goods are say, scarce but they can be put to alternative uses the limited resources must be utilized in such a way as to obtain maximum output or to minimum total cost for taking such a decision theory of the production and cost analysis are useful theory of production practice the various factors which causes variation in cost cost analysis is, is useful for profit planning cost control and also for sound pricing practices third point price policies such a product is already for sale the firm has to fix its price the price shall be fixed according to the condition in the market pricing is a very important aspect of managerial economics firm's revenue earning largely depend upon its pricing policy the success or failure of a firm mainly depend on the correct price decision taken by it price theory includes the price determination under different types of market condition pricing method pricing forecasting etc fourth point study of market after pricing the product the manager has to introduce the product in the market manager markets are never constant 
they go on changing the manager should be offered the product only in those markets where he will get maximum sales therefore he should have a clear knowledge about the market including the nature and degree of competition such a market is one of the important aspects of managerial economics fifth point profit management the main motive of a business enterprise is earn a maximum profit but profit is always uncertain because future cost and revenues are uncertain therefore profit planning and measurement become very difficult however profit theory will be guide in the measurement and management of profit to a large extent sixth point capital budgeting capital is the foundation of a business like all other input capital is also a scarce scarce factor hence it is expensive it effective allocation and management is one of the most important task of the managers the managers has to choose the most profitable investment projects for this he has to ascertain the return of capital to be employed seventh point inventory management a firm should be always keep an ideal quality of stocks if the stock is too much the capital is uncertainly locked up in the inventories at the same time if the level of inventory is low production will be interrupted due to non availability of materials hence a firm always perfect to have an optimum quantity of stocks therefore managerial economics will be use inventory techniques such as abc analysis and other inventory models will be a view of minimizing the inventory cost at the point business cycle business cycle affect business decision business cycle refers to regular fluctuation in economic activities in the country the different phases of business cycle are depression recovery prosperity boom and recession ninth point strategic plan strategic planning is the now a new addition to the scope of managerial economics with the emergency of mncs managerial economic provides a framework in which long term decision can be made such a long term decision have to impact on behavior of the firm the firm sets certain long term goals and objective then it selects the strategy to achieve the same thank you